So here's my question to you all. What if we challenged ourselves to publicly answer on social media four questions at the end of every day? Question number one, did I begin my day with a request for God to use me? So in 1 Samuel, I want to read to you 1 Samuel chapter 3, verses 9 and 10. And it says, Therefore Eli said unto Samuel, Go lie down, and it shall be, if he call thee, that thou shalt say, Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. So Samuel, little Samuel, went and lay down in his place. And the Lord came and stood and called as other times, Samuel, Samuel. Then Samuel answered, Speak, for thy servant heareth. Amen. Speak for thy servant heareth. So that's the first question that I want us to answer ourselves in this, what I call the disciples diary challenge. So step number one, did I begin my day with a request like Samuel did for God to use me? The number two question is, did I look for opportunities to share my faith in Jesus Christ? And for those of y'all who got Bibles, can you turn to Colossians? chapter 4 verse 3 Colossians 4 and 3 says with all praying also for us this is the Apostle Paul asking for this prayer that God would open unto us a door of uttering and my question to you is how often do you go through life and you don't even look for that door of uttering Did, I, did God answer my prayers by giving me an opportunity to share my faith? Amen. And then here's the fourth question. The fourth question. Did I share my faith today? And then the fifth thing you do after asking yourself those four questions and answering those four questions publicly on Facebook to other Christians, either in a private list of fellow Christians or just on your public status, the number of days that have gone by that you've been involved in the in the challenge because you think about this when's the last time you shared your faith in Jesus Christ when's the last time you shared your faith and when's the last time you shared your faith with a non-believer and let me ask even a tougher question when's the last time you shared your faith with someone who don't live with you amen because the whole thing is, we're not all evangelists. I understand that. Evangelist is one calling. But I want you to think about it like this. Even if you're going to go and be a cook in the army, and you're going to be cooking for four years while you're in the army, guess what you got to do even if you're going to be a cook in the army? Every soldier has got to learn how to use what's called an M16, a rifle. Every soldier. So what I'm trying to share with you is everybody have basic soldiering requirements. I am not saying anybody here is an evangelist. Okay. An evangelist is all they do is share the gospel. That's their primary function. An evangelist is like a recruiter in the army or in the Marine Corps or in the Air Force or the Navy. Okay. That's all they do is bring people in. That's all they specialize in. I ain't asking no one to be an evangelist. What I'm suggesting is that day-to-day -day evangelism or sharing your faith or being more open about your faith or try, or looking for opportunities for the Lord to use you, that is a basic soldiering duty in the body of Christ. All of us, we need to at least be looking and we need to be looking for opportunities. Amen. Number one, did I begin my day with a request for God to use me? Number two, did I look for opportunities to share my faith in Jesus Christ? Number three, did God answer my prayers by giving me an opportunity to share my faith? Number four, did I share my faith today? And then the fifth thing is not a question. It's the number of days that you have been engaging in the disciples diary challenge because here's what's going to mess with you it's going to mess with, it's already messing with me is as the days begin to mount you're going to be looking at yourself like lord have mercy 14 days 
15 days, 16 days, 17 days, 45 days, 62 days. Lord, because as the days mount, guess what should be happening? Your prayers to the Lord should be getting more fervent. Lord, please send somebody my way. Please, Lord Jesus, send somebody my way for me to share my faith with. Amen. Once God uses you to bring someone to the Lord, then we can restart. We'll restart the challenge or you just get released from the challenge. By answering these four questions every day in a public way, I believe it will hold us accountable. It will hold us, of account uh, hold us accountable to not force anything on anyone, but to think. Let me say this again two more times. To think. Let me say it one more time. To think. Am I living a life for God? Or am I just going to church expecting God to bless my mess? I want you to make me healthy. I want money to come my way. I want you to keep my kids healthy. I want everything to be my way. And then, matter of fact, Lord, you, Jesus, you ain't nothing but a genie in a magic lamp. Let me just rub your belly, Jesus, and have everything come my way. Is that, what you, is that the Christianity you want? Or do you want to really challenge yourself and say, Lord, I really want to live for you. Do days go by and do I do that? Really? Is, is, that the, is that the kind of Christian you want to be? That just days, weeks go by, months go by, years go by, and you ain't shared your faith with nobody. I ain't talking about inviting people to church. That's not sharing your faith. It's not about taking somebody to a pastor. You are the church. Church ain't a place you go. You are the church. Jesus lives in you. You have the Holy Ghost living inside of you. You should be learning how to share on your own. Amen. And let me tell you for the babies on the line. Let me just, here's a real easy way to start sharing. Share your testimony. Jesus, for y'all to be online from 730 to 9 o'clock every Wednesday. It ain't, trust me, it ain't because Brother Tony's smooth or nothing. You on here because Jesus at some point did something for y'all. Amen? And whatever Jesus did for y'all, that's how you begin your testimony. I question, here's some other questions I have for you. Is it just Pastor Tony or do you sometimes forget the reason why God put you here? Is it just me or have y'all ever had one of those experiences where someone's looking for some kind of help and then all you thinking about is the mission. Is that just me or has it ever happened to y'all? Is it just me or do you ever miss, miss the precious opportunities to share your faith? Is it just me or do days, if not weeks, or not, not weeks for me, but days go by without the sharing of your faith in a significant way? The purpose of the challenge would not be competitiveness or religious pageantry. The purpose of the challenge is to make each disciple think about their witness. It's too easy to go about our days without reaching out to anyone for the Lord. The challenge is not to spread guilt, but to serve as a reminder that we have a purpose that is bigger than this world. Now, now, I can already hear the skeptics or the detractors. So let me, uh, we got, it's 849, so let me hit you with the skeptics. Well, oftentimes, you never know how the Lord is going to use you and when you will see the fruit. One waters, another sows, and yet another one gives the increase. Amen, I hear you. It's true that you'll never comprehend fully all the ways that the Lord is using you. But let me tell you from experience that and and also you're not going to always be the one to slam dunk the basketball or always be the one to run the touchdown what i mean lead someone to the lord but if you are faithful to god let me tell you this god knows that many of us struggle with our faith god knows that so if you're faithful and you keep looking and you keep praying for god to show you an opportunity and you keep sharing when he gives you that opportunity if you keep doing that, he's going to show you some of the end results. And it might not even be directly connected to everything you've done, but you're going to see some fruit. Because you know what? God wants his babies to be saved. 
So don't get me wrong, that critic who asked me that question, absolutely. You're not going to always see the fruit of your of your labor. But God knows that you're a baby Christian and he, he knows, especially when it comes to evangelism or sharing your faith, you need all the encouragement you can get. Skeptic number two. I share my faith, but I don't believe God wants us blasting it with anyone else. Answer, Jesus focused on privacy regarding prayers and the giving of money. He healed and preached publicly. We're not asking you to name names or go into any kind of great detail on anybody. This is more about your hearts and your actions. Final thought, if you don't challenge anyone publicly, and if you don't like this idea of posting on Facebook or you don't like you think this is a trash idea, then what about this? Can you pray about getting one prayer partner, one person at the church to be your role dog that at the end of the day, y'all text each other and you answer those four questions to each other? Amen. Because I want to share this with you. I do my best witnessing when I'm rolling with Kim. You know why? Because we hold each other accountable. Because we both Christians. Kim and I have come up together. You know, learning the Lord. Learning about the Bible. And what I'm trying to share with you is, I think a lot of us Christians, we go into the workplace by ourselves. And we are not being held accountable for even looking you know, we're not like we ain't even thinking about it, man. We ain't even thinking about it. We're going, we're doing what we want to do, and we're not even thinking about our witness. At the very least, find one prayer partner and and just try to. And at the very least, if you don't want to do that, pray about those four questions just for yourself. Amen. Pray about those four questions just for yourself. Did I begin my day with a request for God to use me? Did I look for opportunities to share my faith in Jesus Christ? Did God answer my prayers by giving me an opportunity to share my faith? Number four, did I share my faith today? Did I follow through on those opportunities? So, uh, I share this because we've been talking about living the abundant life at church. We've been talking about having a good life. We've been talking about seeking the kingdom first. And this is the number one way people come to join the kingdom. And, and this is the way people do it. Is and, and here's the beautiful part. At one time, America was, for better or for worse, at least in name, and not necessarily in deed, America was a, a Christian nation. At least in name, not in deed. So what's, what has happened? Um, the name has totally gone away, and so has the deed. So now, your, your, your workplace, your community, is filled with a bunch of heathens people who just don't love the lord and they're open and public about it now maybe back in the 50s and the 40s they ain't love the lord either and they just called themselves christians because it was fashionable but what i'm trying to say is that now and even the name of christianity has gone is going down in america so guess what all these heathens out here it's no longer even fashionable to be a christian so you got plenty of opportunities to share the Lord nowadays because you are surrounded by non-believers. So let's re-evangelize America. And let's, matter of fact, now that it's not going to be, quote unquote, a European Christianity, let's bring them to the real Christianity, the real faith in Jesus, the real belief where it's not just all about Christendom and having a benefit socially about that real changing faith that can that can that people can enjoy that real christianity that type of christianity where you can't go and abuse your brother after sunday uh, after sunday service that type of christianity where if you ever tried to to disrespect somebody after christian service you you would feel awful about it because you got the holy spirit living in the inside of you so you know maybe america never was saved and we just had, we were just religious and maybe God is using us to evangelize America now. And maybe, just maybe, it starts with you tonight. So God bless you. Y'all take care.